See, the Python spirit has a particular, particular manifestation of witchcraft. When you come in contact with Python's witchcraft, you'll know it. It's different. It has a different purpose, a different manifestation. For example, with Python's witchcraft, you will many times grow weary. And that's common to all witchcraft. But you may lose a passion to worship, to pray. Can't seem to get in the word. And there's many kinds of witchcraft that causes that. But here's one of the distinctions. With Python's witchcraft, many times you feel constricted. You feel uh, penned in a corner. You feel helpless and hopeless. You feel pressured and overwhelmed because Python is a constricting spirit. This, hmm, how do I say this? This, this witchcraft is constricting. It wants to constrict your vision for the future. It wants to constrict your, your joy. It wants to constrict your peace. It's a constrictor. It brings pressure. I remember one time I came under a Python attack and I didn't even know how I was going to get to church. I had to preach. I didn't even know how I was going to get there. I was, I could barely breathe. My chest was tight. I felt my head was splitting and I didn't know at first completely what it was. And the Holy Spirit showed me because I was writing a book called Defeating the Spiritual Warriors Guide to Defeating Water Spirits. And I got retaliation. I'd been working on the book early in the morning. And I had to, to write that before. I didn't even know how I was going to preach. It came so heavy. Witchcraft wants to constrict you. Many times your chest will burn. You'll feel like someone's sitting on your chest. It's like hard to breathe. It's a different kind of witchcraft. And we want to expose this. Python comes from the spirit of divination. Pythos means divination. And divination is a particular kind of witchcraft. I'm not going to get into all that. You can go get the book and read it, Exposing Prophetic Witchcraft. Divination is a specific type of witchcraft, and that's Python witchcraft. And we want to break that. We want to expose it. And we want to break it. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, would you help us to discern the particular brand of Python's witchcraft? We want to be so laser beam accurate in the spirit that we're able to name exactly what it is we're dealing with. We don't want to pick fights with demons that aren't fighting with us. We've got enough warfare as it is. So would you help us, Lord, to discern the very specific manifestation of the witchcraft, the spirit behind the witchcraft? Because the principalities release powers. And witchcraft is a power. So, Father, help us to discern it. We want to be effective. Help us to see and, and expose this wicked agenda in our lives. Some of you, it comes at opportune times. There was a, a, a politician in Florida, and this witchcraft, this python, would come upon him before he gave critical speeches. And we saw it in the spirit. He would start to choke. He would start to cough. So, Lord, help us discern this in the name of Jesus. Help us to expose it in our lives. Help us, Lord, to expose the weapon before it has a chance to launch against us. Help us, Lord, to expose the weapon while it's forming so that we can dismantle it before it's completely complete and, and launched against us in the name of Jesus. Now, I take authority over Python's witchcraft now in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus against Python's witchcraft, and I declare that you must uncoil yourselves from our souls. You must uncoil yourselves from our bodies. You must uncoil yourselves from our finances. You must uncoil yourselves in the name of Jesus. Your pressure is not received. We put the pressure back on you in the name of Jesus. We pressure the witchcraft. We we declare that no weapon armed against us shall prosper. We declare that the superior blood of Jesus is greater than Python's witchcraft. We declare that we are the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. We say in the name of Jesus that Python's witchcraft is bound and every witchcraft coming from the spirit, we reverse it back to the hell. We send it far away from us in the name of Jesus. We say no. We will not submit to Python's witchcraft. We 
will rise up and fight it. We will fight and push it back until it totally breaks, until it completely falls in the name of Jesus. We say no. No longer will we sit here and lick our wounds, but we will rise up and run to the battle line with the sword of the Spirit and say, no, we are overcomers. We are uh, we are the ones who overcome by faith, by the blood, by the word, by selflessness. We overcome all witchcraft in the name of Jesus. We say no. 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 We push you back. We break your dark forces. We exterminate your assignment in the name of Jesus. We say no. We say no. We say yes to worship. We say yes to praise. We say yes to thanksgiving. Come on, somebody needs to shake yourself as a prophetic act right now. I see that, Lord. Just begin to shake yourself loose. Just begin to just begin to press back. Just begin to push back in the name of Jesus. Would you help us, Lord, to expose every remnant of Python's witchcraft, divination in our lives in the name of Jesus. We love you and we praise you and we exalt you and we say yes to you. There is no other God but you. You are the one true living God and no foe can stand against you. We will hide under the shadow of your wings. We will run into the strong tower. We will speak the name of Jesus and demons will tremble. All the witchcraft coming at us one way, we say it's got to flee seven ways. We will no longer succumb to it. We will not be victimized by it. We will not be overthrown by it. We will not be stalled, stymied, hindered by it. We will not be slowed down or derailed by it. We will pick up our sword and swing it as many times as we need to because we know you are able to make us stand and you are able to make us swing the sword. You are able to put your word in our mouth. You are able to back it up with power just like the stone that hit Goliath in the head knocked him out. I thank you that the word we release from our mouth is knocking down demons, knocking down pythons, knocking down witchcraft, knocking down assignments, knocking it down, knocking it down, knocking it down. We say we are overcomers and we are winners and we are triumphant in the name of Jesus. We won't bow to this any longer. We won't go lay down in the bed. We won't sit there and complain. We won't pace the floor with worry, but we will overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And the word of our testimony is we win. We are not under witchcraft. We are over the witchcraft. We were not, we are not under attack. We are over the attack. We have authority over it and we stand in our authority right now in the name of Jesus for the glory of God. In Jesus name I pray. Amen and amen. I want to come against Python's witchcraft tonight. And a friend called me saying, I am under attack. I cannot breathe. When I begin to do the work of the Lord, when I begin to teach, I lose my breath. I feel like my ribs are being crushed. What is this attacking me? I said, this is a Python spirit. How did it get in? How is it attacking me? Where's the open door? The devil doesn't need an open door to attack you. Paul, the apostle in Acts, chapter 16 verse 16 through 17 we're going to pray in just a moment i want to i want to lay a little bit of foundation i'm going to begin to pray so i'm not on camera because i'm going to be pacing and shouting and jumping act 16 16 17 now what happened as we went to prayer as paul the apostle was on his way to the house of prayer as paul the apostle was going into the presence of god to pray to make petitions to make supplications as he was on his way to prayer a certain girl possessed with a spirit of divination met us that word divination in the greek is pythos this is where we get the vernacular or the language for the python spirit she brought her masters much profit by fortune telling the girl followed paul and us and cried out saying these men are the servants of the most high god who proclaim to us the way of salvation and she did this for many days and paul discerned the spirit the spirit was a distracting spirit and the lord showed me today when i began to pray uh, for my friend when i began to make intercession the lord showed me something that i had not seen before and i want to share this with you and i want to begin to pray for you but the lord showed me something i had not seen before the spirit was merely distracting him at one point the spirit was merely harassing him it was distracting him it 
it was grieving his spirit. But when Paul turned and confronted the spirit in the girl, when Paul turned and confronted this demon, this python spirit, when Paul turned and confronted the demon and cast it out, began to contend with it, when Paul confronted the demon, that is when the demon began to really rise up and attack. That is when this principality began to target Paul with everything it had. He wound up in chains. He wound up in shackles. He wound up in prison, beaten and bloodied and persecuted. He wound up in Python's grip. Not through the girl who was targeting him, not through the harassing witchcraft of the girl, the divination, but when he confronted it, hear me saints, Hear me as I begin to make intercession. When he confronted this demon, as long as he wasn't confronting it, it was just a distraction. It was just a grievance. But when he confronted it, that's when the war broke out. And many of you, many of you, Many of you, you've been harassed by this spirit and you're beginning to get this sermon on what is happening. You're beginning to understand this python witchcraft is attacking you. And when you begin to confront that thing and someone you know, when you begin to confront that false prophetic spirit, when you tell somebody that word was not bearing witness to my heart, when you begin to call this out in your church, telling your pastor, I see this, I see this attack, it's a python spirit. When you begin to confront the thing, that is when it comes against you the hardest and tries to destroy you, tries to tries to tries to suffocate you it's a suffocating coiling spirit it's Python's witchcraft father I thank you tonight for your goodness and your grace I thank you Lord that you are good that your mercies they endure forever and ever and ever and ever and ever God we repent today for anything we've done anything we haven't done any way in which we have not discerned the witchcraft from Leviathan the witchcraft from Python any way in which we have not discerned it any way in which you've tried to warn us and we didn't pick up on it because we were dull of hearing because we are dull of spirit God we ask you to forgive us Lord for any open door through the words of our mouth through the pride of our heart God through sins of omission and sins of commission God we ask you to forgive us God to cleanse us from all unrighteousness we thank you Lord for the blood that makes us white as snow we thank you Lord for your blood that cleanses us from all unrighteousness not just some of it but all of it in the name of Jesus Lord we come to you asking you Lord to pour Pour out your mercy. Pour out your forgiveness, God, for however it is that we missed it. If we didn't go to war fast enough, if we didn't resist the devil at his onset, if we didn't go forth and run to the battle line, if we ran away hoping it would go away. I just see that, Lord. The python has been pursuing some of you, and instead of running to it, you ran away from it. You ran away hoping that it would go away. I said you ran away hoping it would go away. Instead of running to the battle line and going face to face with this wicked witchcraft and commanding it to bow. You ran away, hoping it would go away, but it didn't go away, beloved. It wrapped itself around you. It wrapped itself around you so tightly that some of you feel anxiety. You feel overwhelming pressure. You feel almost like you're in a panic, almost like you're in quicksand, just sinking, sinking, sinking. Some of you just can't barely breathe. Some of you are having physical manifestations. Some of you are having issues in your heart, issues in your mind. I mean your physical heart, your physical mind headaches a heart just like it's uh, just a just a an overwhelming angst emotional and physical father I thank you Lord I thank you Lord I thank you Lord that the enemy exposed is the enemy defeated and I thank you Lord that we will not bow to Python's witchcraft we won't bow to it we won't bow to it. We won't tolerate it any more than we're going to tolerate Jezebel. We're not going to tolerate Jezebel's witchcraft. Well, bless the Lord, we're not tolerating Python's witchcraft either. We're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. So we thank you, Lord, that you've given us authority. We thank you, Lord, that Jesus is the name above all names. It's the name that makes demons flee. It's the name that makes demons bow. It's the name that makes demons tremble. The demons believe in God just like we do, and they tremble. 
So we thank you, Lord, that you've given us the name above all names. We thank you, Lord, that you've given us the helmet of salvation. We thank you, Lord, that you've given us the breastplate of righteousness. We thank you, Lord, that you've given us the belt of truth and the shoes of peace and the sword of the spirit spirit and the shield of faith god you have equipped us to run to the battle line not running away hoping it's going to go away you've equipped us you've called us you've made us smart in the spirit you've given us an unction you've given us a, 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 a an assurance of victory because we war from that place of being seated, resting in Christ. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. I come against panic attacks right now in the name of Jesus. I come against all anxiety manifestations in the name of the Lord. I come against unreasonable, uncontrollable fear in the name of Jesus. I break that witchcraft off you in the name of the Lord. I come against it with the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony. I thank you, Lord, that our testimony is we are victorious I thank you Lord that our testimony is that no weapon formed against us shall prosper but every tongue every witchcraft every curse that comes against us it falls to the ground I said the curse causeless shall not come the diviners the witches the warlocks oh that want to curse you and malign you with the words of their mouth and the meditations of their heart the thought curses my God my God my God we stand against it in the name of Jesus we set our foreheads like flint and we dig our heels in I thank you Lord that you make our feet like hinds feet we're gonna keep climbing higher and higher and higher who shall ascend to the holy place to the mountain of the Lord those with clean hands and a pure heart so God purify us God help us Lord not to be those who release divination who release witchcraft who release curses in the name of Jesus but let us rise up as liberators as the Deliverers, in the name of the Lord, we give you praise and honor and glory. I bind that python witchcraft against your mind. I bind that python witchcraft that brings confusion to your soul. I bind that python witchcraft that brings physical manifestations of breathlessness in your body and the fear and that comes with it. I break the powers of it over your life in the name of Jesus. I say no moss, devil. No moss, no moss. I cut the coils in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you cause double fire to burn up every python spirit that's trying to coil itself around us. Lord, let it be burned with fire. Let it be burned with fire. Let it be burned with fire in the name of Jesus. I sever it from around you in the name of the Lord. I sever it. I sever it. I sever it. I sever it with the sword of the spirit. I cut the head off the snake in Jesus' name. I break it. We cancel the assignments of Python. We cancel the evil decrees of Python. We cancel these, these, uh, uh, it's like a meticulous, like a, uh, I just heard the word meticulous. It's meticulous. Somebody listening to me is like this enemy, it, 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 because this is how it happens. The devil roams about like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. I just see a python just coiled up and just ready, just ready, just ready for the opportunity with some of you. But we will not fear because we are covered in the blood. We are diligent and discerning. We shall see and understand and know what it is that's working against us in the spirit. And we will stand against it at its onset. We're not allowing even one coil to come around even one leg. We're not allowing this spirit to get an upper, an upper hand on us, an advantage on us. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We break it. We break it. We break it. We break it. Python's control. We break it. Python's constriction. We break it. 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 We break it in the name of Jesus. We stand against it with the blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We push back the spirit of this attack in the name of Jesus. We cut in pieces the cords of the wicked, according to Psalm 129 and verse 4, four that the python has coiled around us. We sing songs of deliverance in Jesus' name. Lord, we sing you pray. We sing your praises tonight, like Paul, 
and Silas when they were in the prison, imprisoned after a confrontation, in bondage, in bondage. And they sang praises, and they sang hymns, and they prayed. So, Father, we've prayed, and now we sing praises to your name. We thank you, Lord, that you're singing over us songs of deliverance. We thank you, Lord, that we can resist this devil. This devil is no harder to resist than any other devil. It's a devil, it's a devil, it's a devil. It's a principality, and we're not contending toe-to-toe -to -toe with the principality, but with its witchcraft. This python spirit releases the power of witchcraft against us. The manifestation of a python witchcraft is different than the manifestation of Leviathan's witchcraft or Jezebel's witchcraft. It's like different flavors of ice cream. I like ice cream much better than witchcraft. So Lord, we sing praises to you now. We give you praise and we honor you. And you're rejoicing over us. You're laughing at the enemies. Hallelujah. Ha, 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 ha. He is laughing at our enemies. And we give you praise, God, for the joy of the Lord is our strength. It's your joy that strengthens us. It's your peace that keeps us calm in the midst of the struggle. We thank you, Lord, for your glory and your goodness. We sing your praises. We exalt you. We extol your name. You are high and lifted up, and you are enthroned on our praises. We dethrone the python witchcraft from its seat in our life. This witchcraft will not govern our mind. This witchcraft will not govern our body. But we submit ourselves to the great governor, Jesus Christ. Of the increase of his government, there shall be no end. Of the increase of his government and of peace, there shall be no end. So we thank you, Lord, that there shall be an end to this python attack, this witchcraft attack. It shall end. It shall cease. But your governance in our life shall only increase because we submit ourselves to you more and more and more. God, make us more sensitive to your spirit that when we first see the inkling of a python attack, a leviathan attack, when we first come into the knowledge this might be what it is, that we'll press in for discernment to understand truly what it really is, that we can resist it. Truly resist it. Fully resist it for your glory. We want to glorify you, God. We don't want to be bound in chains of python, bound in witchcraft mess, the mesmerizing witchcraft, just confused and befuddled and scared and upset and exhausted and discouraged. I break all of these signs and symptoms of python's witchcraft off you in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord, for freedom. We thank you, Lord, for liberty. We thank you, Lord, where your freedom is. Where your spirit is, rather, there is liberty. And so I liberate your people today from the Python's witchcraft. Leviathan is one of the spirits that has been empowered uh, with great might in these last days, in the end times. We're seeing whole nations uh, uh, combated, uh, thwarted, buffeted by the Leviathan spirit. One of them, of course, being uh, England, uh, London. I had a dream uh, some... Uh, so it was about a year or so ago in which uh, Leviathan was coming up out of uh, the sea. And so uh, you can go find that uh, dream and the explanation of that dream uh, on my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash JN LeClaire. You can just Google it, Jennifer LeClaire, Leviathan dream. I don't have time to rehash all that. Uh, but let me just give you this heads up or this quick explanation. I wrote about this in my book, uh, the, the, the Spiritual Warrior's Guide to Defeating Marine Demons. There's a host of marine demons. They're mentioned in the Bible, including Leviathan, which is mentioned in several books of the Bible, Isaiah, uh, Job, uh, Psalms. Uh, and so we know this is a real spirit. This is a principality. And with principalities, we do not uh, typically, unless we're led corporately, unless we're led by the Lord corporately, do not take on Leviathan toe to toe mono a mono as it were we don't do that that's not wise now i'm not saying that believers don't have authority over principalities uh where jesus is the head we're the body and we have authority over every demon power in his name but we are not going to and i caution you and explain to you and clarify to you we're not uh, going against leviathan uh in our own strength today we're, we're combating leviathan's witchcraft and leviathan's tactics so it would be uh, as if we are quenching a fiery dart. Does that make sense? So we're not, you know, you know, we know that Satan launches fiery darts. We're not going against Satan. We're going against the fiery darts. You understand? So I don't want anyone to be uh, concerned or anyone to begin to, in their own 
uh, right while I'm praying begin to go against Leviathan. We're not doing that. Uh, we're combating the effects, okay? We're putting up our shield against the effects. Does that make sense? Can I go deep in this on in the book, The Spiritual Warrior's Guide to Defeating Marine Demons? I also mentioned it briefly in the Spiritual Warfare Battle Plan. And I have uh, one entry in my new devotion, Victory Decrees. Um, that comes out in just a few months. I have one uh, segment in there about Leviathan as well. So this is a real principality. Principalities work on our minds. Leviathan will twist communications. Leviathan will uh, engage in gossip. Leviathan brings confusion. Leviathan uh, tries to coerce, co uh, control, manipulate, scare, intimidate, terrorize, demoralize, all of these things uh, that the spirit does. Uh, not in the name of Jesus, but an antichrist spirit against uh, Jesus and all that he stands for and all who stand with him. Do we understand? So let us begin to pray. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to enter into repentance. We're going to enter into repentance. Why? Because you never go on to any battlefield without first repenting. We all know that there are sins of omission and sins of commission. And many times we don't know what we've done. Sometimes we do and we forget about it because we're not quick to repent. If there's one thing I have going for me, well, maybe two, uh, the one is that I won't quit. Many times I feel like quitting. I won't uh, uh, deceive you or pretend like I'm more than you or more than anyone else. I feel like quitting sometimes, uh, but I never do. The other thing is I'm quick to repent. And that is a key uh, to being successful in life and in spiritual warfare, being quick to repent. Uh, because many times if we don't repent right away, we forget about that which we did that offended God and we leave it in an unrepentant state. And so we do have to repent. The Bible says if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So with that, I wanna make sure we're all on the same page. Those of you who came in later, you can read a lot more about this in my book, The Spiritual, uh, Warf Warf uh, the F Spiritual Warrior's Guide to Defeating uh, uh, Marine Demons, and also in the School of the Spirit, and also I have an entire intensive called Drowning Marine Demons, and that's available for you on School of the Spirit TV. So for those of you, good morning, Andre in London. For those of you uh, who are, who are uh, unaware of these things, uh, just listen, just learn. I'm gonna teach you how to pray. Part of why I do these uh, prayer broadcasts is to teach you how to pray. So you can catch the spirit of prayer. Yeah, kid, just pray in the spirit with me. Father, we lift up your name today, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. Your name is the name above all names. You are the all-powerful God. You are not weak in any respect, but you are all powerful. You are awesome in power. You are mighty in battle. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords and we praise you. We submit ourselves to you today, God, so that we can resist the devil. We come into your presence today, God, with hearts of repentance for any which way in which we have agreed with the devil, have agreed with the Leviathan spirit. God, we ask you in the name of Jesus to show us, make it clear, put a magnifying glass upon our heart and show us any way that we have agreed, facilitated, or forwarded the work of Leviathan in our homes, in our families, in our workplaces, in our churches. God, show us that we might release it, that we might let it go and break agreement in the name of Jesus. God, we don't want to be covenant breakers. We don't want to be home breakers. We don't want to be church splitters. God, would you forgive us today of any and all agreement with the Leviathan spirit? God, we repent. We repent. We repent, God, for the pride. We repent for manipulation. We repent for control. We repent for the stony heart, the stiff neck. God, would you cleanse us today from the unrighteousness related to the impacts and the infiltration of Leviathan on our thought process in the 
the name of Jesus God forgive us forgive us forgive us God and cleanse us from this unrighteousness related to this and every other marine demon every other spirit that's not of you in the name of Jesus God create in us a clean heart and renew in us a right spirit God cleanse us cleanse us cleanse us sanctify us God in the name of Jesus so that we can stand and withstand in the evil day and God today it's an evil day it's a good day in you but it's an evil day in the world the enemy roams about like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour God would you help us to stay steady in the name of Jesus father draw out Leviathan with a fish hook in the name of Jesus oh God press down on his tongue with a cord for your glory in the name of Jesus oh father put a rope in his nose and pierce his jaw with a hook in the name of the mighty captain of the hosts Jesus Christ of Nazareth oh God oh father our heavenly father ruler of the universe oh God in the name of Jesus let your sword let the sword of the Lord sever the heads of Leviathan oh God crush Leviathan's many heads to pieces and shut his mouth God for good in the name of the living God in the name of Jesus Christ oh God issue from the courts of heaven a cease and desist order against Leviathan's operations in my life in my family in in my church in my city in my nation God God gag Leviathan in the name of Jesus father dry up the waters in which he dwells dry up the waters in which Leviathan dwells and force him by your mighty right hand God the mighty right hand that delivers us use that same hand to force Leviathan into dry places I decree in the name of Jesus a drought and and a famine in Leviathan's camp in the name of Jesus God put your foot on Leviathan's stiff neck break his teeth that bite and devour us deliver the spoil from the enemy's mouth and restore us God to right standing restore what Leviathan devoured restore what Leviathan split up restore what Leviathan confused restore God in the name of Jesus we thank you that you are a God of restoration oh thank you God we praise you we praise you we thank you God that you have given us authority over serpents and scorpions and nothing shall by any means harm us I bind the operation of spirits of chaos in the name of Jesus I bind the operation of the spirit of anarchy the spirit of disarray the spirit of disorder in the name of Jesus I come against and I break the powers of turmoil unholy messes and confusion that Leviathan has released into my atmosphere into my spiritual climate in the name of Jesus I decree God is not the author of chaos God is not the author of confusion but our holy 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 God is the author of peace I declare chaos and confusion into the enemy's camp but I command the confusion and the chaos that is running rampant in my life to bow to the Prince of Peace to the name of Jesus oh God we thank you we thank you we thank you that you've given us the keys to the kingdom whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven whatever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven Leviathan is not running rampant in heaven therefore it cannot run rampant in our cities God but you are the only one that can stop it you are the only one who can crush this demon power push back this principality we can't do it God you have to do it your word says that you are the one who deals with Leviathan but we can stand and we can bind the operation so we do God we put up our shield of faith and we fight against the onslaught against the witchcraft of Leviathan in the name of Jesus I 
bind the operation of spirits of strife in Jesus name I break the powers of contention I break the powers of envy animosity bickering conflict rivalry dissent jealousy and the demonic tug of wars that are releasing all manner of accompanying evil forces against me in the name of Jesus I break the power of these wicked spirits in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name above all names in the name of Jesus Yeshua mighty God Prince of Peace captain of the host I decree I am one with God and the evil one cannot touch me I thank you God for the blood of Jesus I thank you God for the warring angels I thank you God that angels are encamped around me even now because I fear your name you are greatly to be praised I decree and declare strife and every Every like-minded spirit must bow in the name of Jesus. I reject it. I renounce it. I command it to go in the name of Jesus. I bind the operation of spirits of domination, spirits of oppression, regression, aggression, intimidation, suppression, coercion, control, manipulation, scare tactics, threat, terrorizing and demoralizing in the name of Jesus. I bind these powers. Hours. I decree and declare I am submitted to the Lord Jesus Christ to which every evil spirit must bow <laughs> in his name I thank you Lord I resist the works of darkness from Leviathan I resist the confusion from Leviathan I push it back it has to flee in Jesus name I bind the operation of spirits driving relational breakdowns breakups fleeing fleeting disagreements arguments animosity antagonism division hostility tension ill will misunderstandings from Leviathan's word twisting in the name of Jesus I command the twisted words to be untwisted to be delivered rightly to the ears of the hearers in the name of Jesus I break any and all powers of twisting powers of perversion in the name of Jesus I declare every crooked place every twisted place is made straight and I speak peace I speak peace to the storm that Leviathan has stirred in the name of Jesus God I speak peace to the storm that's what Jesus did and that's what I shall do Jesus my God my creator my maker my Savior I will stand and speak peace to the storm that Leviathan has stirred up in my life my church my family my business my finances in the name of Jesus I bind the operation of spirits of depression sorrow sadness grief restlessness angst the blues discouragement despondency distress despair Spiritedness, downheartedness, woefulness, melancholy, gloominess, dullness, and misery in the name of Jesus. I break their power and I decree that I walk in joy, peace, and gladness in the presence of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for your anointing. Thank you, Lord, for your yoke breaking bondage destroying anointing in the name of Jesus it's your anointing that breaks the yoke it's your anointing that breaks the yoke it's your anointing that breaks the yoke of Leviathan Lord, let your anointing break the yoke in Jesus name release your anointing to break the yoke of Leviathan in our lives God release that yoke breaking anointing even now oh God we beseech you by your own mercies to release the yoke breaking anointing in the name of Jesus I bind the operation of every spirit of covenant breaking gossip slander 
flapping jaw speaking forth proud imaginations, miscommunication, evil chatter and muttering, word curses, evil decrees, hearsay, sinister chit chat, scandalous lies, tail bearing, false witness, definition of character, prattle, back fence, and malicious talk. In Jesus' name, I revoke and I send back words that burn the vision clouding smoke in Jesus name I break the powers of these sinister spirits in my life I send the curses back to the sender I release double fire upon every curse releaser in the name of Jesus I break the powers of these sinister spirits in my life and decree my covenant with the Almighty God it is sure it is unshakable it is unbreakable in the name of Jesus oh Jesus Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, I bind the operations of spirits behind deceitful, misleading, false, beguiling, delusionary, insidiousness, counterfeit reasoning, haughty, contemptuous, conceited, disdainful, overbearing, and lofty mindsets, carnal pride, spiritual pride, bitterness, arrogance, incorrigible, overconfident egotism in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I break the powers of these forces in my life and decree that I walk in the fruit of the Spirit in the name of of Jesus Abashto Yeke I break the operation of spirits driving uncontrollable anger, antagonism, fury, hatred, impatience, indignation, ire, irritation, outrage, resentment, violence, petulance, ill temper, and vexations against my life in Jesus' name. Abashto Kotorabashe. I decree. I have the favor of God and favor with God and man and everyone desires to bless me in the name of Jesus I break the power of Leviathan's witchcraft in Jesus name I break the operation of every mocking spirit in the name of Jesus I break the powers of doubt and unbelief that comes against my mind in the name of Jesus I throw down the work of spiritual terrorists in the name of Jesus I command sudden blinding attacks to fall to the ground in the name of Jesus I break and bind every monitoring spirit I blind your eyes in the name of Jesus I come against spirits of fear and crushing bewilderment in the name of Jesus oh God deliver me from Leviathan's fire and the snare and residue of this fleeting spirit in the name of Jesus God we know Leviathan leaves footprints God erase them erase them erase them erase them erase them in the name of Jesus erase all signs of the Leviathan attack from our lives God restore us fully in the name of Jesus Jesus restore 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 in the name of Jesus father I thank you that your word is truth your word is purified seven times your word is alive and your word is sharper than any two-edged sword the truth in your word sanctifies me the truth in your word sets me free from Leviathan's twisted lies I ask you God to forgive me for believing any of Leviathan's lies and help me to discern this twisting dragon's tall tales in the name of Jesus father cut off the head of this dreadful dragon break this principality into pieces for your name's sake God crush this crooked criminal spirit with your strong sword slay this water spirit with your word I come against the deceptions the sea spirit has introduced into my mind once again God cleanse me help me to renew my mind oh God deliver me from strongholds in my mind that Leviathan has erected I release the sword of the Lord against Leviathan rip off its scales Lord break its back break its teeth rebuke it in its pride bring this haughty devil low in Jesus name now God I break loose once and for all from Leviathan's oppression. I shake and break free from the assaults on my mind, my will, my emotions, my body, my peace, my finances, my church, my business. In the name of Jesus, I command a drought to come into Leviathan's waters. Dry up its resting place, God. Dry up its resting place, God. Dry up its resting place, God. 
O oh God, smite it with your mighty hand and deliver me from this demonic onslaught in the name of Jesus. O oh God, I thank you and I praise you for your deliverance and for your freedom, for the whole armor of God, for the sword of the Spirit, for your presence and your glory in our lives, God. Help us to fear you. Unite our heart to fear your name in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Pray in the spirit with me. Yara ba 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 shi ke te mbrosh da ra ba 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 shi. Ye ke te ro bo stombra. Ye ke te ra ba shi te mbrosh de shi ke te makatara ma shi. Ke te ro bo shi. Ye ke te mbrosh da ra ba shi. Or ro bo 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 shi ke te ra ba 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 shi. Ye ka te ro bo shi ra ma ma shi ke te ra ba shi. Father, we lift up your name today, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. Your name is the name above all names. You are the all-powerful God. You are not weak in any respect, but you are all powerful. You are awesome in power. You are mighty in battle. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords and we praise you. We submit ourselves to you today, God, so that we can resist the devil. We come into your presence today, God, with hearts of repentance for any which way in which we have agreed with the devil, have agreed with the Leviathan spirit. God, we ask you in the name of Jesus to show us make it clear put a magnifying glass upon our heart and show us any way that we have agreed facilitated or forwarded the work of Leviathan in our homes in our families in our workplaces in our churches God show us that we might release it that we might let it go and break agreement in the name of Jesus God we don't want to be covenant breakers we don't want to be home breakers we don't want to be church splitters God would you forgive us today of any and all agreement with the Leviathan spirit God we repent we repent we repent God for the pride we repent for manipulation we repent for control we repent for the stony heart the stiff neck God would you cleanse us today from the unrighteousness related to the impacts and the infiltration of Leviathan on our thought process in the name of Jesus God forgive us forgive us forgive us God and cleanse us from this unrighteousness related to this and every other marine demon every other spirit that's not of you in the name of Jesus God create in us a clean heart and renew in us a right spirit God cleanse us cleanse us cleanse us sanctify us God in the name of Jesus so that we can stand and withstand in the evil day and God today it's an evil day it's a good day in you but it's an evil day in the world the enemy roams about like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour God would you help us to stay steady in the name of Jesus father draw out Leviathan with a fish hook in the name of Jesus oh God press down on his tongue with a cord for your glory in the name of Jesus oh father put a rope in his nose and pierce his jaw with a hook in the name of the mighty captain of the hosts Jesus Christ of Nazareth oh God oh father our heavenly father ruler of the universe oh God in in the name of Jesus let your sword let the sword of the Lord sever the heads of Leviathan oh God crush Leviathan's many heads to pieces and shut his mouth God for good in the name of the living God in the name of Jesus Christ oh God issue from the courts of heaven a cease and desist order against Leviathan's operations in my life in my family 
in my church, in my city, in my nation. God, God, gag Leviathan in the name of Jesus. Father, dry up the waters in which he dwells. Dry up the waters in which Leviathan dwells and force him by your mighty right hand. God, the mighty right hand that delivers us. Use that same hand to force Leviathan into dry places. I decree in the name of Jesus a drought and a famine in Leviathan's camp. In the name of Jesus, God, put your foot on Leviathan's stiff neck. Break his teeth that bite and devour us. Deliver the spoil from the enemy's mouth and restore us, God, to right standing. Restore what Leviathan devoured. Restore what Leviathan split up. Restore what Leviathan confused. Restore, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you that you are a God of restoration. Oh, thank you, God. We praise you. We praise you. We thank you, God, that you have given us authority over serpents and scorpions, and nothing shall by any means harm us. I bind the operation of spirits of chaos in the name of Jesus. I bind the operation of the spirit of anarchy, the spirit of disarray, the spirit of disorder in the name of Jesus. I come against and I break the powers of turmoil, unholy messes and confusion that Leviathan has released into my atmosphere, into my spiritual climate in the name of Jesus. I decree God is not the author of chaos. God is not the author of confusion, but our holy, holy, holy God is the author of peace. I declare chaos and confusion into the enemy's camp, but I command the confusion and the chaos that is running rampant in my life to bow to the Prince of Peace, to the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you that you've given us the keys to the kingdom. Whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Leviathan is not running rampant in heaven, therefore it cannot run rampant in our cities, God, but you are the only one that can stop it. You are the only one who can crush this demon power, push back this principality. We can't do it, God. You have to do it. Your word says that you are the one who deals with Leviathan, but we can stand and we can bind the operation. So we do, God. We put up our shield of faith and we fight against the onslaught, against the witchcraft of Leviathan in the name of Jesus. I bind the operation of spirits of strife in Jesus name. I break the powers of contention. I break the powers of envy, animosity, bickering, conflict, rivalry, dissent, jealousy, and the demonic tug of wars that are releasing all manner of accompanying evil forces against me in the name of Jesus. I break the power of these wicked spirits in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name above all names, in the name of Jesus, Yeshua, mighty God, Prince of Peace, Captain of the Host, I decree, I am one with God, and the evil one cannot touch me. I thank you, God, for the blood of Jesus. I thank you, God, for the warring angels. I thank you, God, that angels are encamped around me even now because I fear your name. You are greatly to be praised. I decree and declare strife and every like-minded spirit must bow in the name of Jesus. I reject it. I renounce it. I command it to go in the name of Jesus. I bind the operation of spirits of domination, spirits of oppression, regression, aggression, intimidation, suppression, coercion, control, manipulation, scare tactics, threat, terrorizing and demoralizing in the name of Jesus I bind these powers I decree and declare I am submitted to the Lord Jesus Christ to which every evil spirit must bow <laughs> in his name I thank you Lord I resist the works of darkness from Leviathan I resist the confusion from Leviathan I push it back it has to flee in Jesus name I bind the operation of spirits driving relational breakdowns, breakups, 
fleeing, fleeting, disagreements, arguments, animosity, antagonism, division, hostility, tension, ill will, misunderstandings from Leviathan's word twisting in the name of Jesus. I command the twisted words to be untwisted, to be delivered rightly to the ears of the hearers in the name of Jesus. I break any and all powers of twisting, powers of perversion in the name of Jesus. I declare every crooked place, every twisted place is made straight. And I speak peace. I speak peace to the storm that Leviathan has stirred in the name of Jesus God I speak peace to the storm that's what Jesus did and that's what I shall do Jesus my God my creator my maker my Savior I will stand and speak peace to the storm that Leviathan has stirred up in my life my church my family my business my finances in the name of of Jesus I bind the operation of spirits of depression sorrow sadness grief restlessness angst the blues discouragement despondency distress dispiritedness downheartedness woefulness melancholy gloominess dullness and misery in the name of Jesus I break their power and I decree that I walk in joy peace and gladness in the presence of the Lord in Jesus mighty name thank you Lord for your anointing thank you Lord for your yoke breaking bondage destroying anointing in the name of Jesus it's your anointing that breaks the yoke it's your anointing that breaks the yoke it's your anointing that breaks the yoke of Leviathan Lord let your anointing break the yoke in Jesus name release your anointing to break the yoke of Leviathan in our lives God release that yoke breaking anointing even now oh God we beseech you by your own mercies to release the yoke breaking anointing in the name of Jesus I bind the operation of every spirit of covenant breaking gossip slander flapping jaw speaking forth proud imaginations miscommunication evil chatter and muttering word curses evil decrees hearsay sinister chit chat scandalous lies tail bearing false witness definition of character prattle back fence and malicious talk in Jesus name I revoke and I send back words that burn the vision clouding smoke in Jesus name I break the powers of these sinister spirits in my life I send the curses back to the sender I release double fire upon every curse releaser in the name of Jesus I break the powers of these sinister spirits in my life and decree my covenant with the Almighty God it is sure it is unshakable it is unbreakable in the name of Jesus oh Jesus Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, I bind the operations of spirits behind deceitful, misleading, false, beguiling, delusionary, insidiousness, counterfeit reasoning, haughty, contemptuous, conceited, disdainful, overbearing, and lofty mindsets, carnal pride, spiritual pride, bitterness, arrogance, incorrigible, overconfident egotism in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I break the powers of these forces in my life and decree that I walk in the fruit of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. I break the operation of spirits driving uncontrollable anger, antagonism, fury, hatred, impatience, indignation, ire, irritation, outrage, resentment, violence, petulance, ill temper, and vexations against my life in Jesus name. I decree I have the favor of God 
and favor with God and man, and everyone desires to bless me in the name of Jesus. I break the power of Leviathan's witchcraft in Jesus' name. I break the operation of every mocking spirit in the name of Jesus. I break the powers of doubt and unbelief that comes against my mind in the name of Jesus. I throw down the work of spiritual terrorists in the name of Jesus. I command sudden blinding attacks to fall to the ground in the name of Jesus I break and bind every monitoring spirit I blind your eyes in the name of Jesus I come against spirits of fear and crushing bewilderment in the name of Jesus oh God deliver me from Leviathan's fire and the snare and residue of this fleeting spirit in the name of Jesus God we know Leviathan leaves footprints God erase them erase them erase them erase them them, erase them in the name of Jesus erase all signs of the Leviathan attack from our lives God restore us fully in the name of Jesus restore 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 in the name of Jesus father I thank you that your word is truth your word is purified seven times your word is alive and your word is sharper than any two-edged sword the truth in your word sanctifies me. The truth in your word sets me free from Leviathan's twisted lies. I ask you, God, to forgive me for believing any of Leviathan's lies and help me to discern this twisting dragon's tall tales. In the name of Jesus, Father, cut off the head of this dreadful dragon. Break this principality into pieces for your name's sake. God, crush this crooked criminal spirit with your strong sword. Slay this water spirit with your word. I come against the deceptions this sea spirit has introduced into my mind. Once again, God, cleanse me. Help me to renew my mind. Oh God, deliver me from strongholds in my mind that Leviathan has erected. I release the sword of the Lord against Leviathan. Rip off its scales, Lord. Break its back. Break its teeth. Rebuke it in its pride. Bring this haughty devil low in Jesus' name. Now God, I break loose once and for all from Leviathan's oppression. I shake and break free from the assaults on my mind, my will, my emotions, my body, my peace, my finances, my church, my business. In the name of Jesus, I command a drought to come into Leviathan's waters. Dry up its resting place, God. Dry up its resting place, God. Dry up its resting place, God. Oh God, smite it with your mighty hand and deliver me from this demonic onslaught in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I thank you and I praise you for your deliverance and for your freedom, for the whole armor of God, for the sword of the Spirit, for your presence and your glory in our lives, God. Help us to fear you. Unite our heart to fear your name in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen.